Welcome back to another post game, game number four between the Toronto Maple Leaf and the Montreal Bleu Blanc Rouge. Don't go nowhere. Welcome back to another special edition of the Hockey Nation Live Show with your hockey coach guru, Coach Francis directly and the booter for the Hockey Nation Live Show. Today, it's a post-game number four between Toronto Maple Leaf and the Montreal Canadiens. And hopefully, again and again and again, the Montreal Canadiens uh, cannot score and, and even strength. They cannot score on power play, and they lost again. There's three straight game loss again at Toronto Maple Leaf by a score of 4-0, and that gave the lead to the Toronto Maple Leaf 3-1, and maybe the next game will be the season over for the Montreal Canadiens. We'll see how they're going happening over there. But uh, again, it, it, it's just, I, I have no words to express my disappointment and also my frustration about the Montreal Canadiens. I'm a big fan. I love my Montreal Canadiens. But right now, I, I, I don't know what to tell you. More in fact, they, they don't play with pride of what they, they did in the past. In many, many years, Montreal played with pride and they gave everything. If you can name me, name me five players when I only carry pride show up every single night. That's it. I need any other players. And don't tell me, oh, maybe this one, this one. They lose as a team, and right now they have no answer to find a way to score against Jack Campbell. And we have to give credit to the Toronto Maple Leaf. It's not always Matthews or Minor. It's during this game, it's Kerfoot, Kalchenak, with three points each, make a difference for Toronto Maple Leaf. Spencer and Thornton score for them also. So um, I don't know, again, my friends, uh, Montreal fans, um, I don't know. I've been honest with you. And let's a little bit give you what happening there. Here's the number of the game. You can see at the second period for the third game, Montreal gave three more goals, and that's make a difference uh, at the game. You can see Nalander is fourth of the series. Spesa is second. Thornton is first. Uh, scores during the Third, second period, and finally, Kalchenak and empty net goal score, and they uh, make the four goal of the Toronto. The face off, you can see advantage Montreal. The shot of the goal, Montreal again, and they dominate, and they hit more for Montreal. The block shot, a little bit more for the Toronto Maple Leaf, but not good enough for Montreal to win. And I feel, I feel sad for Carey Price when he sees those guys in front of him cannot give him goals. To give him a chance to win, um, it's not fair for him to be honest with you. But let's give you a little bit about the, the score sheet. First of all, no goal the first period. Um, nine for Toronto Maple Leaf shot on Carey Price. Six for Montreal Canadiens. Uh, two great opportunities for Toronto. Hyman, a breakaway. Uh, Jason Spencer also a two versus one. Carey Price resists to everything and keep Montreal in the in the game. Unfortunately, nothing really happening for Canadian. A uh, power play for Montreal, again, zero, uh, no score, only one shot on that on the first period. And then we have to wait until the beginning of the second period where we see William Nellander score his fourth of the series, uh, four also straight game with a goal, uh, helper Kerfoot. But this is a, all about Alex Kalchenak, have an amazing great pass behind uh, from the back to uh, Nalander. And this is a bad coverage, bad coverture of New Suzuki. Suzuki cannot back check him hard. And I will tell you right now, I'm very disappointed from Nick Suzuki. You have to coverage. You have to pay the price. He's a playoff. Skate hard to the end. He cannot do this. So um, at 12.28, uh, Jason Spencer scored his second goal of the series. Kalchenak again, a great pass, an amazing great pass. Sausage pace, pass to Spesa and Mazen get a helper, gave the lead 2 0. And finally, on power play, Thornton got his first of the series. Spesa, a curve foot, got also an helper at 14.56. It was after 2 3 0 Toronto. 
Uh, the show was pretty even, 15, 12, a lot of shots. But again, Montreal had not many shots. I'm going to show you the graphics of where the shots coming from versus Toronto. You're going to see and understand the difference right there. Finally, in the third period, only one goal is an empty net goal from Alexi Kalchunak after Ayman and Matthews missed the net completely. Lakerfoot got his third assist of the night and also his fourth of the series, 16 29. The show was a little bit more dominated by Montreal Canadian, 14 4, but not good enough to give that W for the Montreal Canadian. And unfortunately, um, the, uh, it's coming to the end for them. Uh, one more game, and then maybe they will be over that series for them. So let's dive in a little bit more what's happening, a little bit more the by number. Uh, the shot, 32-48, Avantage Montreal. Face off, 56-44, Avantage Montreal. Again, uh, Canadian, 0-4 and four power play, 0-13 and 13 in that series. That's the difference. And then Toronto got one goal on power play and two attempts. They hit 40 versus 16, Avantage, the Blue Blanc Rouge. The Black Shot, 18, Montreal, 21, Maple Leaf. Four-minute penalty for Montreal, eight for the Toronto Maple Leaf. Finally, they gave away puck pretty much um, even 18, the Canadian, and 20 for the, Montreal, uh, for the Toronto Maple Leaf. The lead for the Montreal Canadiens, of course, zero point for anybody. Nick Zuzki shot five times on Campbell. Zuzki played 20 minutes, 56 minutes on the TOI. Unfortunately, he was the responsible of the first goal with not coverage Nalanders. Finally, Price have a so-so night on the save percentage at 889, and uh, he blocked 24 of the 28 shots he faced tonight. Uh, the leader for the Turbo Tome Police, Kerfoot, he counts up at three points tonight. Matthews, five-time shot on Carey Price. Uh, Justin Ole uh, played 24 minutes and five seconds. And finally, Campbell, uh, first shutout, shootout and uh, NHL playoff. Stop all the 32 shots he faced tonight. Of course, a safe percentage of 1-0-0. Zero, zero. Uh, the three star of the night, and let's start with the third star. Of course, the goaltender for the Toronto Maple Leaf, Jack Campbell. Congratulations, Jack. Uh, great performance. The second star, ex Montreal Canadian, uh, Alex Kalchenak. Uh, one goal, two assists, three points. And finally, the first star, the veteran player, Jason Spesa. One goal, one assist, two points. Great for the veterans. Have a great game for him, to be honest with you. Congratulations. Like we do uh, uh, during those both games, we like to share in a couple of graphics we got from some people. And we want to share with you. So let's start with that one over there. Here's the shot of the night. What are you talking, Coach, about? But I want to show you what, what this is about. And that gives you an idea of one side versus another side. Look, the Montreal, the X goal tonight. And that's called also the Fenwick shot. Montreal, 2.39 versus Toronto shot, 3.48. But look in front of the net. All the shots coming from Toronto versus Montreal, where they are more spread all over the place. And that gives you a better chance for Toronto to win. And that's what's happening tonight. So uh, just uh, great to see this. You can follow, of course, buddies, evolvinhockey.com. And let's dive in a little bit more about front stats also. This is the Toronto Maple Leaf players. Their situation with the defense, offense, individual, and miscellaneous. You can see right there, uh, Calcina have a great night. Kerfoot, Mazen, Spesa, Justin O, Nalanders. Uh, that gives you an idea where the Toronto Maple Leafs have a better night compared to Montreal Canadiens. You can see on the left side, Merrill, Kulak, Petrie, Kokenemi, Anderson struggle on the defensive side of the game tonight. Of course, they gave four goals versus zero uh, for a goal four. That give more defensive side with struggle for the most of the game score completion of the Montreal Canadian. And finally, I want to show to you uh, for the Toronto Maple Leaf, uh, this is a little bit more uh, their performance on an offensive side. Goals X, goal four versus X goal again. That give them their game score. Great performance, Kalchina, Kerfoot, Marzen, Campbell, also um, 
and Espesa versus the bottom. Yeah, Matthews don't have a great night about game score. And check their season average. You can see some of them perform better like what usually they do, to be honest with you. And finally, for the Montreal Canadiens, uh, not many positive side. Uh, Belly, only four. Stahl, Gallagher, Weber, and Chariot. And I give you a little bit more information about the data analytic of stat you can do during the game. Of, and hopefully this will give you an, a, an idea to understand performance as well and also of the team together. Finally, the next game, game number five, uh, where the Toronto Maple Leaf lead that series 3-1 to one, is going to be Thursday, May 27, 7 o'clock in Toronto. The Hockey Nation live show is going to do a live stream again at 6.30.45 pregame show talking about the game uh, between uh, both teams. And finally, if you like those kind of videos, I produce as a pregame show, preview game, pre uh, post game, and also all the fun game, uh, video we do for the Hockey Nation live show. Don't forget to click here and to look for the Hockey Nation live show uh, YouTube channel. That's where you're going to record to retrieve many, many videos we do on the daily day for you guys. So don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to share and comment and also reach other people. That's the way to grow, uh, to grow this channel. So thanks again to be a part of the Hockey Nation Live Show. And like we do at the end of each video, I just want to remind you, you hockey fans, uh, remember... You are Awesome! You are amazing! You are the best! And remember, you have greatness inside of you! Thank you so much again, and look forward to see you next time! Bonne journée, mes amis! On se reparle un peu plus tard!